Hi Jurassic Cuties, today we're going to draw a Pusheen Donut, so let's get started. To draw Pusheen in a donut, we're going to first start by drawing Pusheen's head. So right here, I'm just going to start with a slight curve for the middle of Pusheen's head, and then I'm going to go up for the ears. You round it off at the top, and come back down. So same thing on this side. Round off the edge right there, the tip, and bring it down. So if the ear's in, now let's bring this curve all the way down for the rest of her head. And I'll bring it down a little bit more. And let's come back in here so it's a little bit easier to gauge how far down we need to go. And let's draw the stripes first and the uh, eyes. So I'll come in here and draw the stripes. There's three stripes right here on the head. And then let's come straight down in the center, say so about right here. Give myself a point, and from there I'm going to draw the nose mouth area. So it's just a curve out on both sides, and then a little curve on the bottom. And come to the side right here and draw a circle for the eyes. So same thing on this side, about right there. And if you want, I'm just going to add a little highlight and shade it in. Okay, so I have a cute little face in right here. Make this a little bit bigger. There. Now let's draw the whiskers. I'm going to come right about where the eye is and about right here. I'll just draw two whiskers that come out from the side and then come to the other side about right here and draw two more. So this side always comes through and this side's always just on the line. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just the pushing uh, design, right? So with the face in, we just bring this down a little bit more. And that's about right. And then we're just going to add a curve all the way across. So if you're using a pencil, just go ahead and draw the curve all the way across. But since I'm using a Sharpie and I can't erase, I'm going to stop right here and just draw a little hand that pops out and then continue my curve. And say about right there, I'll add another hand and continue all the way back. Now that we have the head in, we can draw the donut part. So I'm going to come up right here. Just give myself a point on both sides. This is where we're going to start to draw our donut. So it's basically a really big oval. So we're just going to come here. Just draw your donut uh, however big you want it. I'm going to come both sides. Just a little bit easier to see. And I'll start to bring it down. And on the edge right here, I'll straighten out it just a little bit. Straighten out my curve a little bit more. And about right there, I'll start to bring it in. And connect it. There, so we have this roundish shape right here for our donut. And then now let's come back in here. Um, say about right here. I'm going to start to draw the drizzle. So we're just going to curve. And about right here, I'll draw one that comes down a little bit more. So it's all up to you. Have fun with this part and just draw as much drizzle as you want. I just want to go all the way across and back and tuck it in. There. <laughs> Yummy, right? Okay, so then now let's finish Pusheen's body. Just imagine this curve is through the donut and it's going to come out. It's going to pop out about right, say about right here. Same thing on this side. It's approximate, say about right there. And then we're going to draw the bottom. So we're just going to bring in the curve on both sides. And then let's add a little foot. So it's just another little, kind of like a U. And 
connect our bottom to about right there. Add another U and connect. And then in this area right here, let's add her tail. So it's just a curve and back. And let's add the stripes in her tail. Thicken the tail a little bit right there. Okay, so then now we're pretty much done except the yummy part of putting the sprinkles in. So I'm just gonna go randomly here and then in different directions and draw the sprinkles. So I like to start with two straight lines first and then just connect it with a curve on both ends. So here and there, just add as many or little sprinkle as you want. And let's see here, then we'll add some round sprinkles. Here and there, fill up the space. This way you get to add a little bit more color to the donut. So there, that's pretty much it for this cute cat in a donut costume. Thanks so much for watching. If you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cube videos. See you later.